Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and right now the time is 3:37 pm temperature is 36 degrees centigrade and humidity is 19% okay now you must be thinking why did i write all this thing um even i don't know okay just um, sorry anyways let us come to the question a particle a moves with a constant speed 2 meter per second on a circular track of radius 4 meter fine whereas particle b moves on a straight line coinciding with the diameter of the circular path mm, maintaining a constant distance 4 meter so the distance between a and b remains constant and it is equal to 4 meter from particle a which of the following conclusions can be drawn okay uh fine now let us draw the initial situation or i should say let us consider an initial situation of particle a and b okay so let this be the circular path of radius 4 meter okay and uh, initially let me consider that the particle a is here its speed is 2 meter per second and right at this instant the position of particle b is here and i don't know what is the speed of particle b okay so this is our x axis this is our y axis after some time t let us consider that the particle a reaches at this point this distance is 4 meter okay uh, and the particle b must reach somewhere here because they should maintain a constant distance of 4 meter right in this time t the radius vector of particle a rotates by some angle omega t now if you draw this triangle it looks something like this it is an isosceles triangle so this one is x which is the displacement of particle b this one is 4 this one is 4 so this is omega t this one is also omega t so x is equal to 8 cos omega t because 4 cos omega t plus 4 cos omega t so this is how the displacement of particle b is changing with respect to time displacement of b okay so velocity of particle b along x axis would be del x del t that is minus 8 omega sin omega t sorry sin omega t and omega is the angular velocity or angular velocity is v by radius so v is 2 radius is 4 so 1 by 2 so final velocity becomes 4 sin t by 2 okay so as you can see the maximum speed is 4 okay maximum speed is 4 now if i find the acceleration it becomes minus 2 cos t by 2 so maximum acceleration is 2 fine so option a is correct option b is also correct during one revolution of a distance traveled by b is 32 meter so time taken for one revolution of a would be 2 pi r by v so 2 pi 4 by 2 so that is 4 pi seconds so distance traveled uh, by b okay velocity we know velocity about b is uh, minus 4 sin t by 2 and for distance the required formula is mod of vx dt right 0 to 4 pi so it becomes 4 mod of sin t by 2 dt 0 to 4 pi now uh, just replacing this like this 0 to 2 pi mod of sin t by 2 d of t by 2 okay so this becomes this one so now just breaking it into two parts because mod is there t 
t by 2 0 to pi and plus pi to 2 pi sin t by 2 d of t by 2. Now, if you calculate the whole integration, you will get 32 meters. Okay. So, because from here it you will get 2 and from here also you will get 2. So, 4 to 8 for 32. So, option C is also correct. Now, uh, I am just leaving option D for you all. No, I would suggest you all to check whether option D is correct or not. Fine. Please let me know in the comment section that what you all are getting. Fine. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. Thank you.